Hello everyone, today we're going to install Windows, not Windows, we're actually going to install MS-DOS 7.1 and VMware. It might chip with the sound drivers of VMware, I don't know, but 14.x is fine. I'll install, actually we can go install our disk. Just browse to the MS DOS 7.1 install disk. The ISO version that you got from Windworld PC. So do other do MS DOS title it 7.1 or something that makes more sense. Now here just do one core and one processor. Now I'm actually going to do half a gigabyte here. Because it's MSL 7.1. Now, for network, just do NET. We're actually not going to bother doing network at all, really. So you could just do, do this option. But whatever, we're just going to not touch network. Just do bus logic, SESI. Because we're going to do IDE type hard disk. We're going to create a new one. And this version of MSOS, as I explained, supports larger hard disks. So we're going to do 16 gigabytes. And we go next. Now, customize hardware. You need to add a floppy drive. Even though this version is actually installed from CD. But who cares? Hey, anyway, well, that actually should be it for everything. Now you might be able to actually just start it right away. Just go next, next, do what I'm doing basically. I'm not even going too fast. And I do check the partitions and cr let it create the partition. Now I just reboot. Oh, now it's saying invalid system disk. Now, here, shut down guests. The issue is, it always wants you. To move from a hard drive before the CD, so power on the firmware first, and then go to boot, put the CD above the hard drive by pressing plus on the CD when you navigate to it. Now go to exit, press enter on exit saving changes, and then yes. Now we're, we still need to install it. Now click, just click next. Next, I agree, it's on there by default, so just next, continue, yes you do. Now just do whatever that path you want, and you see backslash DOS, yes you do want to create a fast, see this, do the full installation with the add-ons, and install this, now click OK, click continue, yes, 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 yes. This time, do Sound Blaster PCI. That's the closest thing to Sound Blaster 128 PCI, which VMware emulates. So click Continue. Now it tells you that it installed the sound driver. So click OK. Click Yes. OK. OK. Basically click Yes and OK. We're going to install every single thing. Now make sure you select yes on these. It defaults on no. There are no more add-ons. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. Enable both. Load both. 
change. Here we go. Enable everything except DOS long file names. And use spacebar to check or uncheck what you don't want. Click continue. Now just go to continue. Click OK. Yes, you do want to reboot. Boot from the hard drive. And we are finished. It likes to beep, apparently. First shift and F9 first, and now we're done. I'm just going to turn this off. And we are done. This is it for MS DOS 7.1. Literally. And of course, you can't load the driver. Wait a minute. It is the correct driver. It just couldn't load it. Alright, bye.